Hello and welcome. This is the CGOTT uh, Balian on Balian match. Insert acronym Insert here and, and guards on duty. Joined by Beer and Realm, Snoop and Master Unicorn. Hello everyone. You guys are still warming up. I'm helping them out a little bit. <laughs> you gotta love the uh, Serenid free armor. It looks a lot like a curtain. Or some, or some sort of sort upholstery. Of <laughs> kind of sexy, though. In a strange, caramel kind of way. Sorry, Ron Burgundy. Didn't mean to throw anything at you. Me and Kiss. <laughs> now, a guy on Tell Worlds earlier asked, you know, how do you deal with two-handed spammers? And my reply was, throw stuff at them. Yeah. Oh, God, that's beer with a hammer. Oh, that's a big that's hammer. hammer. Now, now beer's still going. Oh. <laughs> Got hit by somebody. I would have totally owned a beer, but somebody else hit me. Okay, okay maybe, maybe not, not but, but still. <laughs> I'm gonna keep telling myself that. Looks like we are starting. Looks like they had the wrong spawns. Why do I have to load this map? What is going on? User disconnected from your channel. User joined your channel. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Yep. Out and clear. 
I was having some mic difficulties. I'm sorry. Some technical difficulties. Yeah, I was like, talking uh, and. Insert acronym here has the potato farm spawn. Or is that tomatoes? I always thought it was watermelons. Which team is Mad Dog on? Is he on the uh, insert an acronym here? Yes. That's what I thought. Mad Dog, the one man army. Trying to hold the forest with a few crossbowmen, a couple of pikemen. Scott Ray venturing into into enemy territory here. A little bit of skirmishing going on right now. Who is uh, Diana Ross? Not sure who that is. Are they on the team? Yeah. So, uh, IH. Let's see if I can look that up. Yes, we must know this. Craving providing a shield for Bailey and Zero there, even though he got shot anyway. Looks like it's going to be Core or Max. Or Brimstone to Romans. Robocop. I bet it's Robocop. Robocop. Doesn't he own a dueling hut or something? He does. Does. I like that place. I went to space once. That was fun. <laughs> Anyways, um, we have the one Dalian team, the uh, guards on duty in the trees, and the other team is Caps, one of them. We have Scott it was real bad going in for bumps. Next round, maybe get streaming status. Got a little melee going on here between Mad Dog and Craven. And finally, somebody dies. <laughs> Scott Ray is down. And there goes Maddie Poo. Maddie Poo is Sorry about your luck, Mad Dog. This is a very close match right now. And you got Peasant. Uh, you got Jasmine chasing Peasant. Akmar is pretending to be Scott Ray right now after stealing his horse. <laughs> I'm curious if Peasant can can live through this here. Yeah, I think he can, definitely. <laughs> Way to call that one. <laughs> Way to go, man. Zero with the dot dot dot. We're gonna see that same clash again. Both teams yeah. are running for the forest. They really like that forest. If you 
can get there and hold it. It's a great place to be. Yeah, it's nice trees, nice river. Cap can't get ya. Both teams just getting in there. Second Oops. shield comes in handy. The Dude. gods may have the upper hand on this one. Yeah, looks like they might run around. Making it a tie game. Angus Burger doing some work with the Cav. Yep. Going after Scott, right? Oh, both of God's Cab are doing pretty good well. <laughs> um, good fight. Can he get the horse? Yes, yep. he can. Upgrade to the shiny horse. <laughs> oh, it's not Robocop. Who is it? It's X. It was X, okay. I didn't think X was on the team. We have both teams doing appears to be the exact same like thing. A, yeah, I just taken the forest again. Being quite aggressive. So it's like the other team um is being a little bit more passive, hiding back in that first clump of trees. a smart move. Actually, if they have uh, an archer over at Ruins, too, they can get some crossfire, and they don't. But they do have people at both of those groups of trees, which is going to help. Standoff. It looks like this might go to master of the field. Mm -hmm. I think Diana Ross is getting way too far out there. So that's X, right? Yeah, that's what uh, Roman said. Peasant's just hiding out there, and he could be putting some pressure on those archers. Yeah, I think they're just trying to keep their cab alive. Both teams are really just hugging the trees. They don't want to give up their trees. May not have many bolts left. I don't think I can really tell just by looking, but... God has how many calves? Do they have two? They have three, right? Yeah, they have two. It's probably in IAH's favor to uh, just wait for oh, exactly that right there. 
an Akmar taking off like a bullet, going for that flag. I'm surprised the president didn't jump for that right away. No losses yet. These two infantry are pushing up. These trees is gonna be <laughs> it's gonna spear battle. <laughs> And Angus Bugger goes down, Mad Dogs, 2K. And Akmar is having a time of it, holding off the two cab at the flag. One of them dismounted. Gods are rushing towards the flag with their infantry. Scott Ray coming in to save the day. Akmar back on a horse. Can't even tell who's who, they're all the same banner. <laughs> it's a little confusing. I'm no expert or anything, but if I had to guess, I would say Balian is going to win this. Peasants on the flag. <laughs> Scott Ray backing him up. And yeah, Akmar's like, rush. no, you're not going to get past me. He's chasing him down. Chasing down zero. Scott Ray real bad. Being bad. Yeah, they're gonna, yeah, they're, there you go. And that line like, wins. You shall not pass. Guards on duty are going to ruin. IAH with not much range. I think they're mostly cab and infantry. So they're probably going to take a very aggressive approach here. It looks like they're charging ruins too. And because they don't have any archers, they're probably going to be better off. And you have gods with gods. I see at least. Oh, there's three. Now there's two archers. Have approach, trying to keep them out of ruins, but I think they're in it anyways. And there goes Scott Ray. Good, Scott Ray is down. Real and bad. It, look, it looks like the guards on duty are gonna win this, because Scott Ray had to be real bad. <laughs> This perfect round. Tied up at the swap. Name change. We will now see who Diana Ross is. This will be intense.
now I'm sure what we're really waiting on here. I needed a couple of name changes, I think, but it didn't take that long. Yeah. Dan Ross was either on Max or what was the other one? Either Max or Romans. Not sure what all the hate talk about fat people is, but you know, you know, fat people are people too. But they Here. are people too. I mean, some of our best warband players are fat. Even if they count as two people, they're still people. But take all of them, BKS. <laughs> Most obese group we've ever seen. God just time is taking the forest. Yeah, that little one but that they're at the now place, is, the, is probably uh, the worst place to stack up. I mean, they've got everybody right there. Yeah, I H has the place. main forest here. Yeah. And Ron Burgundy shooting with his bow. <laughs> and you got Officer Max. They're seeing IH being a little more aggressive, and well, I take that back. Look at God's charging in. Mm -hmm. Lots of infantry. We are charging in. Crossbows. crossbows have their shields up. Two kills by that. Let's see if it works for them. They're out for blood. <laughs> Spears. Max down. really just blood. tearing it up. Uh, oh I think they God. might have run into a uh, very defended position. Yeah. Yeah, they went in with those four infantry together, and then as soon as they hit the wall, they split apart. A valiant effort. If they're a little more passive this time. Well, we don't want them to be passive. Just maybe a little more patient or something. I don't know. I, I like it personally, but it didn't work out too well for them, but it looked really cool. Indeed. Uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who wins or loses. But who it's wins pretty much the it's pretty much how stylish you were in the assault, right? Yeah, I believe that okay, means. Now, uh, they have, now they have all their guys in one tree. I don't think this is a better position to be in. <laughs> <laughs> there, Zero's trying to spread it out a little bit, getting shot in the way. It's a magical <laughs> tree. And we got Honey Badger putting up the shield for a peasant. Not really sure they're in a great spot. Yeah. And he's, they're running, trying to get to some cover. Looks like 
they're pushing for ruins now. Really late push for ruins. Yeah, it definitely seems to be their main attention. <laughs> zero reloading in the river. Yeah, come on, zero just on. right in the middle of the river. <laughs> he didn't get killed though, so I guess it wasn't yeah. a bad move, right? Mm -hmm. He's he's still alive. Maybe his crossbow was dirty. <laughs> you have to wash it off. Peasants cheese in the wall. <laughs> Have an intense calf fight in the calf playing fields. Uh, lots of shots getting taken around here. Uh, you got peasant and burgundy on the wall just shooting into that fortified position. All right, Scott here comes Angusburger. Going to see if he can stop it. Oh, he he gets shot. Oh, he gets shot <laughs> twice. Oh, and he's dead. Oh. Valiant yeah. effort. It was a, it was a good try. was definitely left I mean, he was alone doing, far you know, too trying to take those guys out. So they just have black left. Is it black yeah. or is it Blake? Oh, he, he's I always said black. Cause he, he's the token black. He's the token black guy? Yeah. Mm, horse is down, he's gone. And the Valiants need one more win to win this map. 2-0 IAH on the swap. Pretty even loadout on IH. Yeah. Cards on duty spread out a little bit. That'll be good for them. Looks like a lot of their cav are going to the right side. Not sure what they're doing over there. Looks like uh, guards also dropped their um, infantry. And they just have archers right now. Or crossbows, rather. Locust by the far right tree trying to get some snaps in. Lord Cavs throwing javelins. Mad Dog's horses down. A lot of background calf work here. They're just dog fighting. Yeah. It's going to be a good fight. Got Ray chasing Unix throwing jabs at him. Akmar and Black. Infantry pushing in on these crossbows. Akmar going after Angus Burger now with the jabs. Yeah. Oh, and Angus Burger goes down and Akmar gets it. Mad Dog and Black are fighting. Mad Dog being a beast here. It's going to be map, but they'll probably play out the last round. We'll see. If 
Very similar strategy again. Oh, actually they're done. Dun -dun. Infantry push. It looks like we're going to get the next map and spawn going. Mm -hmm. Fresh balls again. Battle. is the top spawn apparently. Seems that way. I'm back. I had to go get me uh, another tasty beverage. Um, mm -hmm. Can we please stop the Bailey and on Bailey and violence? Okay. <laughs> okay. So please just stop the fight. We need to be friends. So what is it? It's Andy Bush. Okay. No, I get the wrong map. It's Frosty Battle. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Surprised we didn't see random planes in this. I think random planes is out since we did uh, Field by the River. Field by the River is Ah, uh, you, you have a point. So is Frosty Battle considered a, what kind of map is it considered? I think this is mixed. Mixed, okay. Yeah, well, that yeah. makes sense. Probably due to the buildings and such. Archers taking shots right away from the spawn almost. By both sides are contesting windmill. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there's a lot of gods. fighting on this windmill right away. God's pushing up pretty strong on windmill. Let's see. One man army. Here's Mad Dog. I think Mad Dog's maybe in trouble. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he's got some support troops nearby. Yeah, he's down. I think God's, God's has some momentum on this one. Yeah, this two infantry pushed a bit too far. Scott Ray and Akmar, though.
I should use Rebel Pro Tactics and Camp Spawn. Uh, that's what I would do. That's the that's the smart thing to do. Yeah, that wall. <laughs> yeah, the Rebel Wall. You guys need to call that position the Rebel Wall, okay? From now on, that's that's what you're gonna call it on your little maps. The Rebel right. Wall. <laughs> the Rebel Wall for the South. The Rebel Wall of Awesome. Who do we got left? Uh, Just Akmar and Scott. Scott Ray. Just Akmar and Scott Ray. Just Scott Ray, that's all. And Agmar. It looks like one of the um, infantry has picked up a crossbow and attempt to bring these horses down. Black and Locust just standing in a group here. Yeah, the big pointy sticks out. Well, Akmar and Scott are on cab, so well, what are they really going to do against that conglomerate of spearmen over there? It also has a crossbowman back in the mud and a cab. Probably their best bet is to just wait for a weakness in the formation and go in and get it, but and it's pretty much any. gonna come down to a flag spawn. Yeah. Unless uh Scott and Akmar want to go in there and get killed or do something really epic and just destroy the whole team, which probably won't happen. Akmar is not off his horse. Yeah, they can't really not that it's beyond either their because Unix will just take their horse. Well, they are kind of, you know, they're engaging Actually, a bit there's here. two cab, so they, they, can't, they can't get off the horse at all. Uh-oh. Oh, Scott Bad is down. That's up to Akmar for the clutch. Akmar on the hunter. Mm, nice hit on black. Unix down. Oh, he's just Chill. doing the best he can do here. I and mean, should dismount at this oh, point. Yeah. Now, once the horse stops, it's all over. Yep. Nice try, though, by Akmar. It was, he, he actually got a kill in there, you know. Did a great job, but, you know, he's just overwhelmed, just too much to oppose. Once again with the windmill, uh, looks like God's is taking kind of a far right side flank this time, not really going directly towards the windmill. Sure. going over here by the rebel wall. Is Akmar and uh, Akmar and Unix. God pushing a little farther into their flank over by the far right ruin. Shot Looks like God only has one crossbow. IH has three range. Yeah, God, yeah. they're 
They're down four. It really doesn't make sense to sit in the open and wait for a master spawn when you have, like, more infantry than you do uh, range. Not quite sure what their plan was there. Four, four against two. Yeah, Craven and Igor are left on guide. It's a bold move. And you're seeing them really contest the windmill here. Yeah, I really like that windmill. So even right away, those three archers split up. I think it's popular consensus that the windmill is the uh, area to control. Yes. Well, why is that, though? Uh, it gives you better map control for flag spawn. I think ruins is risky. And they are, this is just an all-out brawl contesting for it right now. Max is just taking shot. Mad Dog gets the kill on Craven. He's Uh, Are we doing a number here? Yeah, God just getting outmatched right here. Curious if they're going to uh, change their loadout a little bit. They're going heavy infantry again. Two crossbow. Two cav. Looks like they are pushing immediately up to the windmill. Oh, I would like you to point three, out three that infantry Igor pushing here up to the windmill. Has uh, the we've best got some our <laughs> best crossbow. Yeah, we've spot got some ever. packs out here on the rebel wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Nice shot there by Ron Burgundy, taking down Mad Dog. Yeah, that's preventive they're, doing better. They're, being, they're being more aggressive this time. It changed up a little bit. It seems to be paying off. Let's see if they can pull it off. So far, I, so far IAH is down three. Uh, not, they're not staying at the windmill, they're pressing onto the right side with their infantry. You got Unix with the pike out. Uh, Craven just pulled his spear out. Oh, they all have pikes, okay. Sort of an anti cav tactic they're pulling here. Yep, Akmar's horse goes down. And Angus Burger killing one. Maybe a perfect round. Sky Ray's horse down, Akmar down, and and they yeah they, they just mop the floor with them. That will be right back. So gods need three wins to stay in this. Yes, they do. They're leaving the windmill right away. Let them take it. They're One hanging kill back already in by IAH. Uh, yeah, they um, IAH seems to be 
camping their ruins with some archers and a pikeman. Max is going to get another angle. Yeah, Mad Dog, Ron Burgundy, and Max just working together in the fields of fire. I'm surprised those calves aren't on Max right now. IAH pressing the uh, position a little bit. Getting run over by the calf. Now you have one team on one side of the building and one team on the other. <laughs> yeah. oh, they're moving around. They're going far side, all the way around. Got Ron Burgundy and Mad Dog with the crossbows. It's a smart move because Igor is Honey still Badger over there looking to sort pick of back shots. Him up with this. He's out of the fight for a few minutes here. Here's Peasant way in the background behind a tree. Waiting to pick off people. Uh, they look like they're just sort of uh, going to hold here for a while. Yeah. I think that uh, IAH gave up the uh, the good flag camping spot just okay. now, though, with their move. You know, Craven looks like he's going to maybe possibly rush out there and get him. Yeah, he's going for it. He's going to maybe get Mad Dog. Oh, he got Mad Dog. Oh, you got locusts coming to help him. They're just going to rush across from him. Great stop by Scott Ray. It's two versus three. Angus Burger taking out Peasant. Yeah. It's 2v2, anybody's game. Ron Burgundy fighting there's a uh, crossbowman here against a D-horse Scott Ray. <laughs> Angus and Scott. <laughs> oh. What a face off. Oh, look at here. Yep, I, I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> it's easy to see that coming. You're not hearts. playing right. Good round. Well, it looks like God is going with their same plan of uh, camping behind that building. IH already has great positions. Yep, they're already taking center. Looks like Zero is moving out to the side, though. That's good. Yeah, I do see some of the yeah, guys. Is that Zero on the right? Did it move yeah. out to the right? They only have two ranged. So they're sitting there camping with their infantry. 
And you got zero yeah. over here by the giant beer barrel. Which is a good call, by the way. Uh, looks like uh, IH is taking a similar approach this round that they did last round and trying to move into the spawn all the way around to the back side. And I am back. Did, did I miss anything exciting? Oh, very exciting, yes. And here's Craven once again on the front line of this, at the back side here. Like but he's all he's all by himself. I don't know what he's really gonna do here, you know. He's gonna do a smart thing and get out of there. Looks like they may be forming up close to the middle of the houses now. No, they're still going to the backside. <laughs> yeah, that really is a bad place for them to be. Once these flags Thanks. spawn, they've got one minute to kind of spread and out. Here we go. Max finding himself in a bad position. Well, he did have two infantry on him, but for some reason, uh, he has a cab and an infantry on him now. Hey, he's gone. Angus Burger's horse down. <laughs> Only peasant left. God not doing too bad with the camping here. Curious to see if IAH takes the same approach this round. Looks like they may be going farther right and not really pressing up to the houses. I don't know, we'll see. But if you'll notice, let's see, what, who is this? Uh, Officer Max is way over here to the right side. Yeah, they're not getting up to the spawn this time. They're, they're, they're going to set back and do a little sniping first, I think. There's Craven again. Obviously, the, the rear guard over here. On their spawn. Don't think you're going to see IAH rush into that spawn this time. This is a fucking exciting game right now. <laughs> I was just being cautious. Yeah. Honey badger, peasant, and burgundy at windmill. Well, I mean, they have guys at wind. They have good positions. They have guys at windmill, and they have guys on the right flank. So mm -hmm. they're not really hurting.
I think this think round are basically the, the heavy cab being used against other calves. Yeah. I think this this round they want to force uh, God to uh, make a move and come out of their spawn. They're going to keep their what control of the map they have spawns, and. So. Being a little more patient this time. I thought I was supposed to spawn at 2.45, but... And I think you may see the spawn in IAH's favor. Yep, right on top of them. So see, now God is in, in a bad position. They're... Well, what are they going to do? they got to move up with their archers? Uh, IAH already has control of the windmill. They also have control of the right, right flank. No See, they're already shooting them from the right flank as as they travel to the flag. Oh, nice shot by zero. Yeah. Wow, maybe it doesn't make a difference. Okay, well, it's tied up now. Flag just now being contested by Badger and Loka. And the locust goes down. Bump and the cab are swarming in on Badger. Cab really doing their job. They almost have too. the flag up. Badger almost has the flag up. Now you got you have peasant coming along to help him get the flag up. And, and they're gonna get the it. Flag, I think so. they're gonna get it unless unless they God gets on it quick. It should be up right now. Yeah, I'm really I mean, almost there. Really surprised no, it, why it, that it, it's at the top. Yeah, I, I believe bugged. the flag is glitched out. Yeah. And I mean, have a Angus Burger is not within vicinity to uh, of the flag, so I'm not sure why. Yeah. Yeah, the, the flag is bugged. I think really they need to kill Angus Burger in 35 seconds. Yeah, that was probably the best thing you could do there, you know. I'm not sure what was going on with the flag there, but it looked like it was all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. So right now, if um, I... A H, is that right? Yeah. I H wins this. Um. I think Balian's gonna win. Yeah, Balian. Balian's gonna. Balian is gonna win this one. But if the other Balian wins, it, it it goes on to a third map, correct? The two archers up on that windmill, and the infantry are just tailing. Nice shot by zero. Both teams. Both teams are very windmill. aggressive. Mm -hmm. They want that windmill. Yeah, they are fighting fiercely over it. They now. will get that windmill. What do they use windmills for? To uh, mill to make, grain or something? Yeah, like bread? Grain. Grind uh, grain. These guys really want some grain. <laughs> yeah. They want that grain. We want to make some bread, damn it. <laughs> and it looks like the gods are going to be making the bread. Who's going to get the bread? It's still pretty even now. Not at all. Nope. Yeah. And we have a third map. Okay, well, here's get the bread. Yeah. We got the bread? And um, I think I'm gonna get off because this is getting kind of late <laughs> and long. We'll see. And I have here. stuff I need to do. So thanks for coming out. You're most welcome. But let me know how it turns out. All right. Will do. User disconnected from your channel.
I'll be getting off as well. Goodbye. Right. Later, Ralph. User disconnected from your channel. So what is going on now? Are um, we doing another map? Yep. Looks like they're choosing. That's okay. Well, I will be right back. All right. I'll do this here. Okay, I'm back. Looks like we're still on the frosty battle map. Yep, I'm back as well. They chose village inside, Rodox and Nord. Rodox and Nord. Which map? Village. Village. Interesting. And Rodox are on the outside. I'll be right back. User left your channel. So, any predictions on who's going to win this one? I would say it definitely favors Nords on the inside. I almost expect it to go like 4-0, 4-0. Really? All depends on who's better with the hammers. That'll change things up for Rodux. I don't know. Um, Village is not a bad crossbow map. So Rodux, you know, with the, with the hammers and the crossbows. <laughs> Reroll. Yeah, cliff texture. Looks like we have a little brawl User going on in the IEH camp here. Okay, is this possibly live? And Mr. X is on one of the teams. Hmm. That's very interesting. 
Is he on that team? Yes, he is. Oh, okay. Cool. There's a chance to take out a crossbow down there. The Unix going up the ladder. Who do we have up there? Akmar. Akmar saying, get off my roof. Huh? Go away. And zero shooting at him. Yeah, Akmar is up there by himself. Oh, we got a clash. Uh, great shot. Like a lot of IAH are on the left side fixing to push in through the gate. Not the gate, but the uh, door. Dagmar had a hammer on Unix. I can't believe we missed that. And a rage quit. <laughs> Not really sure why they were isolated up there, but. IAH would not a good start to this map. Got Akmar as a sole survivor. He was alone to begin with. It's, yeah. it's surprising that he's the one that's the last one left alive. Maybe there's that's something to be said for... No? No. Oh well. Maybe there's something to be said for soloing. <laughs> Looks like we got two crossbow and a four infantry on IH's side. Similar makeup. Got a crossbow and an infantry going up the front ladder. The rest of the team is going right side. A dog playing cover crossbow. And Badger gets the ladder up, and let's see who we got going up here. Officer Max. Yeah, they're assaulting the right side. They may catch this Nord Archer. No, he sees them. Uh, so that's zero. He sees them. So they're really kind of caught on top of this wall with really nowhere to go. He jumps back off in, onto the ground. Yeah. And Badger getting hit by a jab. So now they're basically on the right side, and the entire enemy side knows that they're there, so... We've got an open I'm gate. not sure what they're going to do here. They're Okay, they're getting in there. I guess that's the best thing you could do, right? Just get right on in there. Both teams are there really have... infantry heavy, so... All right, so they're sort of swinging around the right side of the center tower. You got uh, Mad Dog with the crossbow leading. Now the infantry push ahead of him. 
Akbar's alone again with a hammer. <laughs> and Max so, pulls out the super big pipe. User joined your channel. Unit, your presence is requested in the Stellar channel. Sorry to ruin the stream, everyone. User left your channel. I H four down. God two down. Mr. X goes down. Yeah, the Nords are kind of rolling here. And Peasant is running from the angry mob of Nords <laughs> that's behind him. I don't blame him. Got Angus Burger and Black chasing peasant. See if he can be a beast here. Oh, God, Ray comes in and helps out. And Peasant lost his shield, so I think Scott Ray's going to have to be the big Nord killer here. <laughs> Peasant running. Don't Once again, I don't blame him. <laughs> they picked up a shield. Time to... Crossbow Peasant versus four melee Nords. Scott Ray backing him up on cab. Let's see if they can work this out. He got a hammer, um, a spearman, and two, an axeman, and a guy with a sword. <laughs> you have all the basic scary, food yeah. groups yeah. represented. Uh, it's just too much overwhelming. Good effort. I mean, <laughs> I think I would have just threw my weapons down and my shield and just run screaming. And then you got these big 230-pound yogurt-eating guys coming after you, you know. <laughs> Scary stuff. It looks like they're doing more of a concentrated assault this time. They're going over the front ladder. The uh, crossbow has his shield up. He's, uh, I got an archer up above. It looks like they're trying to take the roof of the, uh, the first building. Just a very direct approach. I don't think this is going to be any more fruitful than the uh, <laughs> last couple attempts. Those archers were just able to completely stop high age trying to move in that alley at all. Yeah. Ox may do better by being a little bit more aggressive and not, um, you know, waiting around for the Nords to get them. Because the Nords are definitely coming, so. <laughs> I mean, they go they go in there, and it's like uh, the Nords are defensive at first, 
but yet then they then they sort of go on the uh, offensive. It's like they're going left door this time. Mm -hmm. No, looks like they're gonna go back door. Hmm, this should be interesting. Split up. I'm surprised that the infantry didn't run down there and try to cut somebody off. Uh, I Nord saw them, so if, if they planned on this being a surprise, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, you can already see the, the Nords are moving towards the back door. So they realize they're coming. You've already got Craven and Kiss My Axe and Angus Burger right there at the back door waiting for them. And now the Rodox have stopped on the corner because I think they're basically like, well, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Either that or they're just trying to figure out, you know, do we go here or go back? All right. What is Max doing? Is it just taunting? Ha! <laughs> Max does a taunt and Loka throws a jab at him. Yeah, I think maybe they're going to push in the back door anyway. Uh, you got Zero, he's taking a position up on the house with his bow, getting ready to shoot anyone that comes in the door and perhaps shoot over the wall. Uh, looks like IH has decided to go back towards the door instead of going through the back door. I'm not sure where they're going really. The zero on the barn is not really an option to move back because you can take shots at him. Like he's right taking now. shots at him already. Mm -hmm. um, There's that mm -hmm. nice crossfire between Igor and zero. They're going to have to. I really think they would have went better just going through the door. But uh, That is reactive. You, you, you have Scott Ray and uh, Max still over here at the back side. Uh, Scott Ray just got shot. Not sure how well his health is doing, but uh, you've got uh, Zero on the roof shooting people. He's doing work. Oh, uh, there's Master. And uh, Igor, he's also up there. They, Igor and Zero had him in a crossfire. Getting some good wounds in there. All right, so they push through the side door. Be bad with the archers on the rip. Yeah, they're going to leave Igor and go for that flag. Go alone. They're just having a hard time finding a way in here. I'm not quite sure where peasants go in. So if peasant can just be a beast. Okay, the 
IEH could not seem to get in the village and live. Uh, they did try every entrance, didn't they? Right side, left, back. Good communication on God's part. Yeah, they didn't really use the God, tower. But. No, God is omniscient, right? Om omnipotent. It looks like they're going up the front ladder. Page I believe. One. Oh. I believe all of them are going up the front ladder, jumping over the wall, going to get up on the roof. AH trying to contest this building a little bit, and they back back down. They're like, we don't want any of that. <laughs> nice trying to pull out that two-hander in the wrong place. Uh, Angus Burger pulls out the great hammer. Puts it back away once the throwing axe comes up. <laughs> Uh, they're really almost all over the place right now. God pretty much holding the top of this building, trying to skirmish around the bottom side of it. But that seems to be their general uh, strong area that they want to keep. Got zero spreading out on the right side a little bit to try to get some angles. Crossbows are getting some good field of fire. You mostly have your Nord infantry in the courtyard here now, and there's really not, you know, they don't want to just go up there and get shot by the crossbow. Oh, what is it we got here? Akmar is going around the left side. Let's see what he's doing. Looks like he's going to try to be sneaky. It is not working. <laughs> I think they saw him. Yeah, they saw him right there. I think that's but zero. Igor, zero that's there. fantastic team. Yeah, that's yeah. zero. He's like, I see, I see you, Akmar. Hmm. I see you and your hammer. So, basically right now, the Nords are just sort of at a standstill. They got their shields up, just trying not to get shot by the crossbowmen. Unfortunately, the uh, Rodox have lots of infantry as well here. And the Nord's getting pushed back into the alley. Well, maybe not pushed, but they're choosing to go that way anyway. I don't blame them. It's just not a good place to be out there in the courtyard when you got infantry facing you and, and they have crossbow supporting. The crossbowmen are not waiting on their rooftops, though. They're going in to support the infantry. is tearing it up. The two-handed axe and the one-handed axe. Yeah. Okay, it just seems to be the Nords are just, I think you called it, the Nords are just dominating. Got two 
horses now, though. I'm not too sure what they're doing with that. That seems like a very bad move in this type map. Uh, which side has two horses? The Nords. There's no mm. reason. But, like, infantry are so much better than, than Cav in this map. Right. Very confused about that one. I think the hey, Rodox might keep that roof possibly do better if they just uh, eliminated maybe a crossbowman in in lieu of a uh, infantry. Once again, once again, Rodox taking the roof up here. Looks like they're going to hold on that. They also have a crossbowman in the, uh, oh, they're getting crossbow in the center tower now. They have yeah. two crossbowmen in the center tower. Peasants in a horrible spot as well. Oh, well, there goes one of the crossbowmen. Mr. X taking down Locust. Oh, Akmar goes down that by the a foot shot. <laughs> If they can keep up the uh, crossbow crossfire, you know, that would that would help out their situation immensely. Is that all they have left? Is Nope. No, I'll see. There's lots of crossbows. It's just crossbowmen, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We have Mad Dog on Cav, Mr. X Infantry, and Scott Ray on Cav. Against Zero, Kiss, and Craven as crossbowmen. I think we're going to see uh, Master of the Field on this one. We still have a decent amount of time considering all the people that, that died early on. Uh, they have no reason to uh, rush crossbowmen and... Um, Four to five positions, though, not with two cab and one infantry. But when the flag spawns, uh, that's when you're going to see them move in. <laughs> that's wow. painful to watch. Painful to watch. Now we just have, what, one cab and we have, um, let's see, peasant. Who's pe where's peasant? Peasant is a bowman. Scott Ray on Cav. And Mr. X is infantry. Well, they have a balanced team anyway. It's three versus three, and we're going to sit here until the flag comes up. And there it is. Not a bad spot for the crossbowmen. Yeah. But still, I'm kind of curious as to how... He's already got hit. What? He got hit by, um, I'm assuming, peasant. Yeah, peasant taking shots on the crossbowmen. Uh, Smart move Scott by Ray up. trying to throw a few jabs at him, and Mr. X is going up the center tower, going to take out Craven, possibly. No, he jumped back down. He should have stayed up there. Yeah. Now Mr. X has to watch his back while he approaches okay. the flag. He's got a crossbowman up high right side. That's a zero. They're just kind of useless down there right now. I think he should have went up and just killed the crossbowman. Excellent kill by Scott Ray. Oh, wow. So it's just zero left. 
Zero on the top taking shots at Mr. X. Mr. X approaching him. Let's see, it's going to be a little melee here. And Mr. X takes out Zero. And so far, we've not seen the Rodox win a single round, regardless of which team played them. Yeah, I'm just saying the same. God is going with the same plan. They're all crossbowmen. I'm just kind of <laughs> saying Bailey knows how to play Nords better than they do Rodox. <laughs> Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. Mad Dog coming in from behind, and Igor shooting at Mad. Still a lot of crossbowmen, I believe. Yeah. Zero, crossbowmen Kiss My Axe, solid. Craven, Black. Are they all crossbowmen? They are. Yeah, Locust is. And, yeah. It was interesting to see a whole team jump off that tower. <laughs> it was. I like to do that on my own in like a pub, but I've never thought of it as a good team tactic. Although it does shake up the position of the Nords in here. Everybody's spreading out a good bit. There's not a lot of concentration anywhere. Concentration of forces. See, we have Mr. X and and Max. There's two infantry. Uh, we've got most of the crossbowmen going up the <laughs> backside building. They're going up you know, the ladder the on the backside. The bad side. part about that is there's no place to load crossbows safely. Right. On that road. Well. I'm not really sure how many um, archers that the Nords has. <laughs> uh, no pe I know they have peasant, right? Oh, no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I have peasant. Um, they have peasant. He's going to get picked it. off by one of these guys. Let's see if their tactic works. <laughs> It'll work until master. They're saying, this is my building. You shall not pass. Akmar is tempting fate over there. Now, they are getting different angles. At least they're getting different angles in this uh, little area here. I think they're a little too concentrated, but they are getting all the different angles they can. Here you have Igor shooting down the alley. You've got uh, Craven. He's got the guarded, guarding the other alley. They've got their zones of fire. All right, we found him. <laughs> we found Peasant. Unfortunately, I believe what we're going to see here is the flag's going to spawn, and then they're going to have to take their crossbow and, and run to the flag. And you've got Mad Dog on Cav. You've got Scott Ray on Cav. Mr. X's infantry. Hasn't know. managed to make it under that building undetected. That is fucking special. Oh, just that was pretty special. awesome. Yeah, I'm not really even sure why they want to put themselves in, in the line of fire right now. Sneaking around again. Oh, my God. Of course, they managed to take out a guy, so I guess it was worth it. They know what they're doing. Fantastic. Oh, we do have a crossbowman, uh, Igor. He moved up here. He He's not in the same building anymore. I think he's waiting for Akmar to come around this corner really so he can pop him in the back of the head, but... I really hope uh, somebody drops on that roof <laughs> Max I just takes him out. Ak <laughs> I think <laughs> Akmar... Oh, well, let's see. We got a, We got an infantry here. Let's see, is this Mr. X? I was hoping he was just going to go up the back of those steps and... Uh, but Igor's watching his back. He's not going to be snuck up on. Not going to sneak up on him.
Oh, using the, the using the using the tilde key to great effectiveness. The peasant trying to provide a little cover fire here. Man dog down. Now uh, we have two crossbowmen that are on the ground, Igor and Kaiser. Oh, you've got two Nords coming up the alley. Uh, they go back up to their uh, to their happy place. Oh, black Igor dropped. He's coming around for peasant. Oh man. He doesn't see him. Uh -huh. And another missed shot. Here's Officer Max standing in a uh, quill barrel, uh -huh, no. jumping up and down strategically. The end. Oh, wow. That I believe was, draws don't count. So that's just that was anticlimactic. That's a null round. Doesn't count for anything. Mr. X with the good upgraded armor. I think this may have only helped out the Nords. Time to push. The Rodos coming in through the side door. They don't have any archer cover up top. The peasant is accessible. Got a little greedy there, though. Quite the opposite of last round. Yeah. Now they're withdrawing outside the city a little bit to reload their crossbows. We got a uh, blacks over here with the crate hammer waiting for someone to be foolish enough to step through the door. If Honey Badger will do it, he's got the jabs out, throwing through the door. Maybe Mr. X. No, that's Akmar. Oh. Oh, he gets him. He gets Mr. X too. I don't think he can do it. I don't think he can do it now. <laughs> not against two. Not against it two. Was, it was. Uh, oh, oh, and yeah. shot through the shield. Wow. He got some good hits, but no kills. <laughs> it was a good attempt. Good ambush. Just not really good enough. You know, those, those Nords, you hit them in the head, it doesn't do anything to them. So now, if you get in the front ladder, the ladder up. Yeah, we're going to do a final assault this time. It'll be, be interesting to see if that Rodox can uh, do that jump yeah, again. We got, uh, we got four Nords on the rooftop up There's here. There's an infantry block keeping them from... Uh, Hopping over to the roof. Right there, they're saying, "Go away, go back down your ladder." And they. I think they're taking that advice. Yep. I think you're gonna see them go through the left door now. And you're probably gonna see the Nord shift off their roof and go meet them. And here they go. Oh, Max is dropping down. That is unexpected. I should be funny if they just turned right back around and went back up the front ladder. Uh, zero might be left. 
Uh, now, they're not going to the side door. They're going all the way around to the back. Yeah. There's Mad Dog trying to harass them. Well, that's good because now... Yeah, he's slowing them down. Now they're they're off on their own away from the team. Right, he's got three people here that are tied up playing around with him. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, two people. Two people, sorry. The Rodex. Uh, yep. Great and here move. is... Sneaking around that Very good. The last... Yeah. A good job on Mad Dog, though. I mean, he's, uh, you know, keeping these guys busy, keeping them from doing what they want to do. Yeah. And he's dead. Unfortunately, he just caught a jab. Officer Max. Checking on Igor here. Oh. And Scott Ray comes in. Max is a beast. Fighting off three infantry by himself. Uh, two of them have spears out. That's challenging. <laughs> and pulls out the two handed axe. Uh, that was great. Okay, inside the building here, we got. Oh, who is this? This is Zero fighting Mr. X. And Peasant is backing him up, trying to Peasant shoot, Mr. Trying to shoot uh, Zero. Now everybody's in there. <laughs> oh. Well, there you there go. Is. And Rodox wins one. Yeah. So God wins the match. Two and one for the maps. Excellent match. Thanks for commentating, Snoop. No problem. I enjoyed it. We had Beer, Realm, and Master Unicorn in here as well.